What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Buster video for you all today. In today's video we're going to be doing a 10 million dollar buy-in and they gave us 150 quarters to get started today. A pretty expensive game but luckily 150 quarters should be enough to uh, knock all these ginormous towers down. They got a great big old wall in there made out of 25,000 dollar chips with a great big old like quarter wall up front or just two quarter pyramids whatever you want to call them and uh, they got a big old tower of ten thousand dollar chips with quarters on top of it oh my goodness wow we're already getting that big old wall to fall down look at that nice there we go and we just got a one dollar chip on that right side i'm pretty sure oh my gosh there's another one dollar chip in here so each one of those one dollar chips is worth 500 free quarters so that is awesome so if we can get two or three of those, that's like a thousand or fifteen hundred quarters. Alright, let's see. Well, the Mr. Bag on the right decided to go, but it got stuck against the uh, glass. It'll go here in just a moment, I think. Nice, there we go. Well, I think they made a huge mistake giving me 150 quarters for this game. I mean, I guess they kind of did uh, need to make it up to me for the incident that happened yesterday. Uh, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, I highly suggest you check it out. But uh, one of the employees, like, accidentally, what do you call it, like, like, left out a dice or something when they were supposed to put it on the pusher back there whenever we roll the dice at the end of the game. They accidentally left one of the white dice out, and it decreased our winnings by a lot. So, anyway, they wanted to make it up to me by doing this. That employee didn't get fired or nothing. It was 100%. An accident so I'm not going to worry about it so anyway uh, let's go see how many quarters we've won see what we've won so far and we'll get right back to pushing alrighty I am back so check this out we ended up winning two of the one dollar chips so that is a thousand extra quarters out there that is incredible so I'm gonna go ahead and turn both of those in right quick and we'll get right back to pushing alrighty we are back so I turned in both of them one dollar chips they gave me a thousand more quarters so that put us up to roughly uh, 1,500 quarters now. We had about 500 quarters just off of the quarters we won from those two uh, quarter pyramids and whatever other quarters they had in there. Oh my goodness, Nuss, did you see that? Those were all $25,000 chips. Y'all, those brown and white chips are $25,000 chips. And the orange ones right here, it says the value on them as you can see. Those are $10,000 chips. Oh my gosh, there's a green earbud. Look at that. So yeah, that green earbud, if you don't know what that's for, we get to turn that in. And uh, they'll take everything that is on the blue shelf, so they'll put it into the play field. Yeah, I know originally uh, they had the $5 chip and the red earbud in there, and both of those, you get to turn those in, they would take the stuff off of the blue shelf, so they put it into the play field. But uh, they said they're going to start mixing it up with the earbuds. So basically... Uh, the rules are the exact same as the place Joe plays at. See, when he wins the green earbuds, he gets to cash them in. They take all the stuff off of the blue shelf, so they put it into the play field for him. So basically, that's the exact same way here at this location now. The earbuds at this location used to be $100 each. But uh, now they've upgraded it to where the earbuds are worth like three towers. The blue one is a tower of $5,000 chips. Pink one is $10,000 chips, the white one is $25,000 chips, and the yellow one is $1,000 chips. And the dark blue earbud, like I guess the navy blue or the royal blue earbud, I'm not sure which shade of blue it is, but you know what I'm talking about. That is worth a cash only bonus game still. And I'm not sure what the red earbud is worth. I know beforehand that was, uh, that got us everything that was on the blue shelves for free. But now that they have the green earbud for that, I don't know what the green earbud, I mean, I don't know what the red earbud is for now. I mean, I'll ask them about that here in a little bit. But anyway, a lot of money is stuck on the edge right now. There probably is like five, ten million dollars stuck on the edge, especially this big old tower right here. And uh, this mystery bag is stuck against the glass. One on the right side is also stuck there. But, I mean, this right here isn't nearly as bad as that U.S. Capitol Tower of poker chips they had in there. Yeah, that thing got stuck against the glass for probably an hour, hour and a half. It was insane. I mean, every now and then you'd see a 
like chunk of chips fall out of there from that big old U.S. Capitol Tower. But like I said, it took about an hour and a half in total to demolish the whole thing. So uh, hopefully that's not the case today for all these uh, chips in here. They got a ton of gold in there. Oh my gosh, and I don't know if you can see this or not. You might can see it in the reflection. But I can see it where I'm standing at because I'm like standing on the left side of the machine here. Because I need to be over here where the skill stop button is at. And it's just more convenient for me to play on the left side of the machine. Yeah, I can see the right blue shell from where I'm standing. And there's actually a blue earbud on there. So that is a free tower made out of $5,000 chips like I said. So anyway, that pusher is starting to struggle a little bit. We might need to get that loot chute cleared out. That might be what's uh, keeping a lot of this stuff in there. All right, so let's get that loot chute cleared out, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I am back. So check this out. We got one of those dollar sign mystery bags. That entire right side and partially the center all broke free whenever I got that loot chute cleared out. And there's another one dollar chip. Look at that. Wow, that is absolutely insane. So I'm going to go ahead and check out this mystery bag. Oh nice, we got that one dollar chip. And there's another one in the mystery bag. Holy smokes. So right, this right here is another 500 quarters. We got two white dice and a gold dice. So this gold dice, that'll multiply our gold by whatever it lands on. And the white dice, those will multiply my winnings. So the white dice multiply the chips and the cash. So anyway, let's get right back to pushing. This has been a fabulous round right here. Oh my goodness, nice. There we go. Yeah, I'd say that right side's going to be much easier to push out of there now. Same thing for the center. But we do need to... Uh, Focus on the left side as well. Nice, there we go. Wow, jackpot, baby. That was a fantabulous push right there. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed that. But don't go nowhere yet. There's going to be lots more amazing waterfalls like that throughout this game right here. Now, this video is more than likely going to be at least half an hour long, possibly even 40 minutes. So be sure you stick around and see how much money we're going to win today. Well, yeah, well, this definitely wasn't nearly as bad as the U.S. Capitol Tower. Now, that thing you was, or that thing I was barely getting it to go, and I was putting thousands up on thousands of quarters in there. And uh, if you haven't seen that video, you're missing out big time. It was a good one. It was one of the best games I have on my channel, one of the best videos I have, so be sure you go and check that one out. After you're through watching this video right here, it will actually appear at the top left of the screen, like in the last 10 seconds of this video. So uh, just be looking out for it and it'll show up. It'll show that U.S. Capitol Tower, so be sure you go and watch that video. Alright, well all those chips and gold on the right hand side are about to go into the payout chute. They're probably like two or three pushes away from going. And we're still doing remarkably well on quarters. And who knows how many more $1 chips that are down there we get to cash in. And uh, believe it or not, the employees actually, well, it was the employees and the manager and the owner, all those people had a meeting about, like, making the games more difficult. And it was mainly over me winning a billion dollars daily all last week and stuff. Yeah, I was literally winning a billion. Sometimes it was a hundred million under a billion. And that was every single day consistently. Rarely ever was I losing last week. And uh, yeah, I guess they were getting pretty fed up about that. And they wanted to do something to make these games more difficult. And uh, some of the things they did to like add more obstacles, I guess, is to put less $25,000 chips in there, less $1 chips and reduce the quantity of dice that's in there and honestly i was noticing that for a little bit but now it seems like it's back to the same old way and uh speaking of the white dice we already won uh two of those i believe and there's actually two more white dice on these uh, gold towers right here 
You all probably can't see those just by the way I have the camera adjusted. I mean, I have it set the best way possible because you want to see as much of this up here as you can and you want to have enough space to see what's uh, falling over the edge here. So it's set the best way possible. I apologize that we can't get everything on the screen. All right, so let's see. I don't know, should we go ahead and call them back here to see if they'll like rearrange this mister bag here? Cause it is touching the glass and it's stuck on there. So yeah, let's go ahead and call the staff back here and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So let's get this mister bag out of here and all these chips. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn in that green earbud. But anyway, they uh, rearranged everything, obviously. They put the mister bag on the pusher and all those chips that was over here on the left into the center there. So it's quite a bit of money. It should be a lot easier to win all that out of there now. Yeah, pretty much if anything gets over there on the corner and it's like not moving at all, it's going to take hours to get it. And plus they reset anything that is touching the glass or stuck against the glass. Or perhaps it's stuck in the loot chute. They'll either count it as they win or just uh, move whatever to a different location. So uh, hopefully we can get that Mr. Bag a lot easier now. Looks like it's sideways or it's going to be sideways. Which that honestly might be better because it'll fall into the loot chute easier. Sometimes when it's long ways it'll get like stuck right up here. Nice, there we go. That was perfect. Did you see that? That was incredible. And uh, they also had quite a few stacks of cash in there today. Those $100 bills. Uh, believe it or not, there's actually 10000 bucks in each one of those stacks of cash. So that is a crazy amount of cash right there. Alright, so let's push that last twenty-five grand out of there and we'll be set. Be ready to uh, separate all those chips that are down there in the loot chute. Then we'll turn in that green earbud. Well, first we got to open the mystery bag. We cannot forget about that mystery bag. Oh no, I'm dropping my quarters everywhere. I'll have to pick them up here in a second. Well, anyway, we got it all cleared out of there. So let's go ahead and check out this mystery bag right here. Had to uh, pick it up off the floor there. So let's see what we got. Yeah, it feels like it's loaded up decently well, I guess. Oh my goodness, you can kind of see like something's a cube shape. So that's prob more than likely a dice right there. Probably a dice. So let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, wow, we got another $1 chip, two more white dice, and two more gold dice. Wow, this right here is going to be a terrific win today. I can already guarantee you that. So anyway, that is not bad, not bad at all. We've made an absolute fortune already today. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn in that green earbud, and however many $1 chips we've won, we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we are back. So I turned in that green earbud and those three $1 chips. Uh, they gave me 1,500 more quarters, and they took all the stuff that was on the blue shelves, and they put it all into the playing field. Looks like they put all them $25,000 chip towers in the middle there. And uh, the two white dots, those are in pretty decent spots, I guess. Same thing for that blue earbud. So we really, really need to try to focus on getting that blue earbud today. That's like my number one priority at the moment is getting that blue earbud. And the two white dots, because that's how we can make like hundreds of millions off of these games. And those dots are way more valuable than you all think they are. I'm sure most of y'all already know how valuable the dice are, but just in case you're new around here, you may not completely understand how valuable those dice actually are. But uh, you'll see at the very end of this game right here, whenever we get to roll all them dice, they all land on some brilliant numbers. We're going to make millions off of this game today. And also, I think the day before yesterday, I did a $2 billion buy-in. And my goodness, I don't think I'll ever do a buy-in that large again. I'm not going to spoil too much of that video, but uh, I am going to say I ended up losing a lot of money on that game. So you're welcome to go and check out that video if you want to. Just uh, go to my channel and find where it says $2 billion buy-in, 20 quarter challenge, high limit coin pressure, can we profit? That's the exact title of the video right there. 
That was uh, two or three days ago, so be sure you go and check that one out. It's an amazing video for sure, so you don't want to miss it. Oh yeah, we're about to get both of them towers on the right side over there. They both got stuck against the glass. Oh nice, there we go. We got one of them to go at least. Sweet. So be sure you comment the number 14 if you've made it this far into the video. Comment the number 14 down in the comments. That just uh, lets me know that you're still tuned in to the video and you're still watching it. Oh my goodness, well this right here might be a little bit of an emergency. We need to push on that right hand side to try to keep that DOS moving past the gutter. You see what I'm saying? Cause one wrong misplacement with the quarters, that dice could like fall backwards and fall down the gutter. So we need to be 100% sure we get it to move forward. Come on, nice push. Give me that dice. Oh wow, it's moving forward now. It's not going to go in the gutter anymore, I don't think. Yeah, we're definitely safe. So uh, basically, if you don't know how the dice game works, uh, after we're through playing and we've won everything out of there that we're going to win, we could have the whole machine cleared out or everything except for one tower. We can quit at any time, pretty much. Uh, basically, they'll put all those dice that we've won on the pusher back there. we got to roll them on down to this lower shelf here. And whatever numbers are facing upwards, like uh, that dice right there, it would land on a six, for example. That's going to be our winnings, or that's going to be our multipliers for our winnings. The white dice multiply the winnings, the gold dice multiply the gold. Well, we're about to get that dice and all those chips over there. Nice, we got it. There's a $5,000 chip about to fall down the gutter on the left, so I think we might just stop right there. Let's go ahead and call it quits. And uh, let me go find that blue earbud. We should go ahead and turn that in. So yeah, let's do that and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that sky blue earbud and uh, this is what they built. They built like one humongous tower on the pusher back there. That's a very, very unique tower and they built like a humongously tall tower. A $5,000 chips over there on that right hand side. So basically the only way we're going to get any of these towers to go is if we load up a whole bunch of quarters at once. So I'm going to rapid fire all those. Are you ready for this? This is going to be amazing. You all just keep on watching. Nice. There we go. We got one of the towers. Sweet. Alright, let's see what all that does. That should give us a nice push, I'd hope. Oh my gosh, the big old tower on the right hand side just moved forward a little bit. Wow, we're winning so many $5,000 chips out of there on the left. So that was another whole entire basket of quarters at once. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness, I'm really, really thinking that tower on the right's going to go backwards. That would be absolutely amazing because as tall as that tower is, it would take a long time to get it to fall down if it was still standing up like that the whole time. So let's rapid fire a bunch more quarters. Alright, there we go. I'm using that skill stop technique and the rapid fire technique both at the same time. Look at that. Now we got this thing completely loaded up with quarters now. Look at all these quarters we got in there. That is crazy. So uh, remember if this is your first time watching my channel and you're enjoying this amazing video right here, uh, be sure you leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And turn on the bell icon, that way you get notified for future videos. Yeah, I post videos every single day, seven days a week. So trust me, you're not going to want to miss out on these amazing videos right here. Posting videos every single day, all days, every day. Seven days a week, so... 
If you want to tune in for these videos every single day, subscribing would make it a lot easier for you because you'd actually get a pop-up on whatever device you're watching my videos on. It'll tell you when I've uploaded a brand new video. So that would be very, very convenient for you all. And uh, you could always turn off the notifications at any point in time. That's just totally up to you. You do whatever's convenient for you. However, I appreciate all the support recently and over the past couple of days and over the past couple of weeks. The videos have been doing absolutely amazing. They've been getting lots of views, likes, comments. I truly appreciate you all. And uh, we couldn't have got this far without each and every one of y'all subscribing and watching the videos daily. So I truly appreciate you all. And honestly, back when I first started making these videos, I thought I'd be lucky to get to a thousand subscribers. A lot of people told me I wouldn't make it past 20 subscribers. Do you believe that? Especially people at school, they thought I was a joke for doing this, but uh, I mean, what can they say now? Like, I almost got 160. 5,000 subscribers, or no, wait, 162,000 subscribers. So that right there should be a lesson to anybody watching this video. Never give up on your goals and don't let anybody tell you that you're less than or don't let anybody tell you that you can't achieve something. Never give up. That's my main message to you all. So anyway, we got probably half of that big old tower on the right side to fall backwards it fell toward the left so uh, hopefully we can uh, win all those chips out of there now there's a whole entire row of them getting ready to go right there that is a ton of money for sure i'd say that was at least a good half a million dollar tower possibly maybe a little more than that Oh wow, there we go. Perfect. That was a fabulous push right there. Alright, so we're almost out of quarters. Let's see if we can get that center cleared out before we're completely out of quarters. We got like probably another handful left. Alright, let's get them in there. We're probably going to get a second and a third and a fourth wave off of this one. See what I'm saying? Still pushing really, really good. So that was the last of our quarters. Come on, give me something. Let's see if we can use that skill stop to knock down some quarters. Yep, there we go. Oh my goodness. Come on, get that last 15, 20 grand out of there. Well, we're getting some quarters. Now yeah, we're going to get that 15 grand eventually. But anyhow, let's go round up the quarters right quick. And uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I got that loose shoot cleared out. And whenever I was down there separating all those $5,000 chips from the quarters, uh, one of the employees walked over here and said, hey, do you need anything? And I said, uh, I mean, could I pay an extra hundred grand to have you reset the machine for me? Because that tower on the right looked like it was going to take a long time to fall down, and I didn't want anyone to get bored watching it. So anyway, that employee said, you know what, I'll give you a free reset. And I'll also add some extra $10,000 chips on top of that tower just for what happened yesterday about that missing dice situation. So I guess uh, the employees were feeling a little bit guilty about it still. They wanted to be extra sure that they had made things right, which they did. I forgive them for it. They didn't even have to do this free reset, and I'd still forgive them for it. And anyway, they added a whole bunch of $10,000 chips on top of that. How much do y'all think that is just in those $10,000 chips there? Oh my goodness. I'm going to say that's like probably a quarter of a million, maybe 300 grand possibly. That's quite a bit of money right there. Oh yeah, well we're about to get that big old tower to crash down. It's on the edge now. Oh nice, there we go. Perfect. So now let's just uh, push right there in the center. A little bit on the right side, I guess, to try to get all those chips to go straight forward. Yeah, that is uh, 230 grand right there, possibly. I quickly tried to add it up. I don't know if that was accurate or not. Let me know down in the comments if you uh, counted it up or anything. So 
So uh, let's try to get to 15,000 likes on this video today. 15,000 likes. I know we can get there. I just need every single person that is watching this video to hit that like button. If we can get to 15,000 likes on this video, uh, tomorrow I will try a $50 million buy-in with a one-quarter challenge. How does that sound? But only if we get to uh, 15,000 likes. So anyhow, we got the whole machine cleared out today. That is absolutely fantastic. This has been a marvelous game today. Absolutely marvelous. So now I'm going to go ahead and call them back here. I think we have won. Nine dice in total. We got six of the white dice and three of the golden dice. They'll put all nine of them dice on the pressure. We got to roll them on down to this lower shelf, whatever they all land on. We're going to get the multiplier winning center gold bars by those numbers. So let's call them back here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we are back. So I called them back here. They put all nine of them dice on the pressure. So let's... Roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they all total up to some fabulous numbers today. And uh, just a quick reminder, uh, whatever numbers are facing upwards, by the time we get them all down to this lower shelf, uh, just add all those together and that's going to be our multipliers. Except for the ones, like that white dice right there. Pretend that one does not exist. They do not count the ones at all. I guess you can also say the house wins on that number. It prevents them from having to... Uh, pay out anything for that one dice that lands on a one. So anyway, we got one more dice to roll. What's it going to land on? Well, we got a two. A two ain't too bad. So anyway, the majority of them dice did pretty good, I guess. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by all that, and I'll let y'all know how much money we ended up winning today from a $10 million buy-in. We'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I ended up winning today from a $10 million buy-in. This is absolutely marvelous. I ended up winning $23,779,000. That is the chips and the cash all put together. And the white dice today totaled up to 18, so I'm gonna get to multiply my winnings by 18. And in total, I ended up winning $428,022,000 from a $10 million buy-in. So that means we profited $418,000 and $22,000 today. Holy mackerel, that right there is a humongous, ginormous, life-changing jackpot win today. Indeed, absolutely mind-blowing right there. Holy cow, I was not expecting to win that massive today at all. That was a huge surprise. And uh, it doesn't end there. On top of that, we won 49 ounces of gold, and the gold dice totaled up to uh, seven. So in total, I ended up winning 343 ounces of gold today. Spot price of gold, I think it's up to $2,300 now. So that means we got $788,900 in gold. That is a fabulous win for the gold right there. And uh, last but not least, we ended up winning 3,416 quarters. Let's go ahead and divide that by four to get the dollar amount. That means we've got $854 in quarters. Not bad, I'll take it. So uh, anyway, that right there is not bad, not bad at all for a $10 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, uh, be sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn on the post bell notifications, that way you get notified for whenever I post a brand new video. And uh, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, you can click the box on the bottom right of the screen there. And if you want to check out my previous video, yesterday's video, you can click that box on the bottom left of the screen. And right here, the U.S. Capitol Tower video, that's going to pop up on the top left of the screen. And lastly, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click that box at the top right of the screen there. So with all that being said, I will see everybody on the next video. You all take care and have a fabulous day.